you've made it to Cairo Hustle Live. Sit back and learn from the greatest influencers in the profession. This episode is brought to you by Close for Cairo, Dr. Barbara Eaton's 56 Day Chiropractic Boot Camp, Dr. Alok Trivedi, The Black Diamond Club, Element Mattresses, Legacy Wealth Management, Posture Screen, Med Zone, Vantage Point Marketing, Movo University, The Universal Tractioning System, Imaging Services, and Zingit Solutions. Let's hustle. Hey everybody, Jim Chester here. I have uh, Dr. Miguel Guevara with me. He is coming in from Toluca, which is a, a special place uh, just north of Mexico City. And he has a special name for the city that he practices in. What is it called? Jaladlaco. Jaladlaco. So yes. there, there you have it. And I'm coming in from Grand Jan- Junction, Colorado, which is on the western slope of the state in the Grand Valley, which I like to say where no one lives. And I moved here to hear the birds chirp. Um, this episode today is brought to us by Element Mattresses. That's uh, Bruce Brown's company. He makes chiropractic beds specifically for the chiropractic industry. So if you guys want to get a better night's rest and have a better quality of life with that, um, reach out to, doc- or to Bruce Brown and he'll help you out with that. So now, uh, Dr. Miguel, um, what time is it in Mexico? The time is, is two and a half. Okay, so 2.30, and it's 1.30 here. So um, right now, um, we're just going to talk a little bit about you and what uh, influenced you to become a chiropractor. Yeah, uh, well, when I was seven years old, I had a condition uh, called asthma. So that asthma... Uh, was really terrible for me and for my family, for all the people that was around me. So I, I, I am, tr- well, I was trying to walk into the street, maybe just one kilometer, and maybe I had to, to use this, this tool. I don't know the name. In, in- Inhaler. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I, I couldn't, I couldn't live with that, with that tool. So my father, my father t- took me into a chiropractor and he told me that a chiropractic uh, make be- could me, uh, could me, uh, sorry, <laughs> could uh, make better the, my health about my lungs. So he, he, he gave me the, the free adjustment and after that I felt the restoration on, uh, inside my body, okay? So that was my experience into the chiropractic, my first visit. And I, I didn't go to the chiropractor for that condition. I went to the chiropractor because I had the uh, uh, knee pain and my low back pain, okay? So it was so different because um, it's complicated in, in the beginning of your understanding because you don't understand how the chiropractic is working and how the nervous system is working uh, normally. So you originally went to the chiropractor at age seven because you had asthma. Yeah. And um, do you think that most people know that chiropractic helps with asthma? Uh, I don't think so. No, we have to explain them that the chiropractic is for the core function of the nervous system not just for pain or for the a condition or, or illness. So it's something bigger. It's reconnect with something bigger than us. Is that uh, that, it, that universe intelligence with the innate, yeah, you know. And after you, you got the adjustment, you can be the, the best version of yourself. You know, I agree too. And, you know, I have a bracelet here that says, I trust my innate intelligence. <laughs> and I think that the more that people really knew that they should trust innate, most people don't know what that word means. Um, maybe you can explain what innate intelligence means in Spanish. In Spanish? Yeah, sure. Okay, bueno, la inteligencia innata prácticamente es eh, pues el buen funcionamiento, pero hay cosas que no se pueden medir, por ejemplo, los impulsos mentales. Y los impulsos eléctricos no se interrumpen cuando una subluxación existe porque va más allá de, de una vértebra fuera de lugar. Es un bloqueo de energía que no te deja funcionar correctamente y entonces no te deja estar bien con el medio ambiente. No puedes ser tú, no puedes expresarte al 100%. Entonces no es, muy, este, no es muy fácil de explicar. Sin en cambio existe porque es una energía no física. I was talking about the, the mental impulse. That is not something physical. 
is is something is abstracted. Yeah, you know. But yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't matter how you try to explain it, but you can feel it, even if you can't see it. You know, honestly, Miguel, I found out that I have much more Spanish-speaking audience than uh, almost uh, people that pay attention to what I'm doing than English. So it's nice that you can share in Spanish. And I know that there's a lot of chiropractors in Mexico, especially Mexico, that really support what we're doing with Cairo Hustle. And, you know, I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, our assistant, Myra Plata, uh, she is from Mexico and uh, she's bilingual. So if you guys wanted to do interviews with me, just like uh, Dr. Miguel is doing, um, she can help communicate with you in Spanish and help you guys get set up to where you feel comfortable sharing your message and your story with me. And then we can have more of an impact with Dr. Miguel's story or maybe Veronica De La Cruz's story. And we can start sharing this information about chiropractic with each other instead of thinking that we all have it figured out for ourselves. Okay, perfect. So yeah. we, we can continue in Spanish or in English. You, you, can, you can tell me. <laughs> So we'll, we'll ask the question in English and then you can start responding in either English or Spanish to your comfort level. So English first and then we'll try Spanish as a second. Okay. okay perfect. All right. So how is chiropractic right now in Mexico? And uh, you've been in practice for three years. So tell us a little bit about how you started out practice and where you are right now. Okay. Well, the chiropractic in Mexico is really growing. Is really good, and we have a free uh, chiropractic school in Mexico, UNEVE, UNEVE, and the UVE, that is in Veracruz. So you have been in the free university, right? Yeah, I've been to Veracruz, and I've been to the one in Toluca. In Toluca. Well, okay, so the chiropractic is uh, really nice right now because all the chiropractors are trying, or we are trying to impulse to the students, to some teachers that don't understand chiropractic, even being uh, teachers, you know, it's, it's complicated for some uh, students and, and teachers understand that a chiropractic is not something, it's, it's not a part of the, of the medical uh, idea. It's something bigger, it's, it's for the, the really health with the rest of the, of the world, okay? So and now I'm going to explain in Spanish. Please. <laughs> <risa> ok, este, estamos comentando que la quiropráctica está creciendo mucho en México, hay tres escuelas en México, entonces estamos in intentando igual de convencer a los, eh, bueno, de, de explicarles a los maestros y a algunos este, estudiantes que la quiropráctica no se trata de síntomas, sino que es algo mucho más grande para que la gente realmente tenga salud. Ok. <risa> yeah, so, so now that I understand that, you know, the chiropractic profession is getting stronger. Um, what have you seen changing from the time when you graduated to where you are right now? Well, in, in the school is very different the education. So you have to be with a patient after the school, yeah, in the clinic. You have to be almost 30 minutes or 40 minutes. And it's very different in, the, in my own practice because, well, my CA is working just with all the papers, you know, all the, <laughs> I don't know how to do that. So, so I, I try to explain her, she does it. And after that, I just to check the, the patient, I just adjust. And, and after uh, the table talk is so important for me, I explain the, the innate, the chiropractic adjustment, and all my patients know that. And in the school is so different because they are trying to, Put taping, uh, physiotherapy, uh, yeah, you know, other things that are not chiropractic. So for that reason, it's so different. So, and the beginning of my, of my practice was so difficult because you you have to find the correct place place for you. You have to explain to the people that a chiropractic is something different. You have to explain them, and after that, they don't get they, they don't get the idea. And after that, you have to explain again and over and over again. Um, well, yeah, you know, it's difficult at the beginning. Mm -hmm. You know, I think I've known you since you started your first practice, right? Yeah. Yeah, I saw the first pictures that you posted when you opened up your, your, your uh, practice. And uh, I've seen you grow quite a bit over the past three years. It's been a pleasure to see. 
Yeah, well, I've uh, been in so many um, chiropractic offices. So I, and another chiropractor uh, teach me another kind of point of view. Yeah, and you have to grow, to grow to, to, to your practice. You have to take the best part of another places, another people, another doctors, and you have to apply. Well, it doesn't matter the place, Jim. Yeah, you know that the most important is the objective. If your goal is to, um, well, find the subluxation, analyze it, and adjust it, it doesn't matter where you are. Well, it's so important for me to um, put clear to the patient, to all people um, who I talk, that a chiropractic is not for symptoms. Yeah, and that is so clear for me, and I, I, and I want to that they understand that. Yeah, that's powerful, you know, because we know that the body uh, needs nothing extra in it. It simply needs no interference. And when you can uh, analyze and find the subluxation and you correct it, whether instrument or hand, and you allow the body to go back to its, uh, you know, the alignment of its health, which is above, down, inside out, we're changing the physiology of that person with each adjustment. And, you know, with the three T's, thoughts, traumas, and toxins, the body is, isn't able to manage all that on the, their own. And if you could adjust yourself, you probably would, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, is that you're, you can't adjust yourself. When you need a trained chiropractor to be able to analyze the spine and to be able to adjust the subluxation, allowing you to feel better too, correct? Yeah, exactly. Well, something that, that I understood is that the subluxation is not just a bone. Yeah, struggling the the spinal cord is another thing. Is when you don't have that information, your spinal cord is a struggle, and that struggle is attracting to the vertebrae, and that interference is what don't don't let uh, don't let beat yourself. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you know, and I, I think that as you've developed as a chiropractor, um, how have you seen your practice grow? I know that we discussed off of uh, camera that you do some cash and some insurance. Talk to me a little bit about how that you can help people either with uh, each service. Yeah, it's so much better for me um, explain to the patient that, well, at the beginning it's complicated because they come first for, the, for a low back pay. Okay, for example, and it's so much better when they pay what well, for prepaid because they understand that they have to be in the curve in the chiropractic curve and they are still here. And after that, you give the information and you are in the process that where you are trying that they understand the subluxation, the, fin the benefits of the chiropractic, uh, what is the interference. Uh, what is the most important, uh, the function within the body? Yeah, you know, the process is so much better uh, when they pay everything, all, all the plan. Uh, uh, and it's so much different with, when they pay for per visit, yeah? yeah you know, mm -hmm. because if they don't understand that chiropractic is not for pay and they don't feel pain now, they, they let the, um, they don't take the curve um, in the correct way. Sure. Yeah. You know, and that's that's very uh, honest for you to say that, because if we don't explain to people what their commitment level is, they might not know that they should commit. And yeah. if, if we don't tell them that, hey, we're going to be here for you as your trusted health care provider and take care of you long term, they think that their chiropractic service is a quick fix. And they never get the whole situation corrected because they never spend enough time. But I think it's really important for the chiropractor to be a good communicator to let that person know, hey, it's not just the one to two visits that's going to fix you after 45 years of not taking care of yourself. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They have to understand that uh, the problem, if you have trouble in your spine, in your, in your nervous system for 30 years, and you have to come here just for three bits, it's, it's something is impossible. Maybe for the pain, it's okay, but for your real health, isn't it? Yeah, but it's kind of like somebody saying, I'm just gonna go to uh, you know, the bank 
you know, once every three years to handle my finances. No, yeah. you have to pay attention to your bank account almost every day. You know, you have to pay attention to like the, the, the ledger of what you're spending and who's paying you. Like if you don't watch that, you become what financially unhealthy. So, yeah. you know, that's the same thing about chiropractic. If people don't pay attention to their spinal health and their nervous system, eventually they'll become dysfunctional and physically unhealthy. Yeah, well, you know that the, the most people don't know that a chiropractic is so necessary for everybody. So we have to be, well, you, you said that we have to communicate uh, the chiropractic in the best way every day. You have to wake up every morning with that mindset to change life. Yeah, because if you don't have that mindset, uh, well, within your body, you can't give that information to the world, even in a little, in a little town. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so let, let's talk a little bit more about um, personal development. Who did you look to for help when you might not have been doing so great? Who did you uh, look to for mentorship? Well, um, when I was in the school, I read so many books about uh, Jim Sigafus <laughs> and Ray Gold, for example, uh, Dr. Gonstead. But right now, my biggest mentor here in Mexico is uh, Dr. Uh, Victor Manuel Sanigo Diaz. And you were in his office in Veracruz. Loved it. So, so he he's really good he's really good in the in the practice yeah he understands really really nice the chiropractic and when i saw that uh, mindset for his part and when i saw his practice he he's growing now his practice every day so i i i told to myself okay and i said i want that i want to I want to be, I, I want to be a big chiropractor. So there are so many chiropractors around the world, but here in Mexico is very complicated to explain to the people because here in Mexico, we had a trouble with the, the bone setters and the people think that the, if you make a pop or a crack on the, on the back, you are a kind of. So the Dr. Victor Sanudo is a great communicator of the chiropractic so so i start to to be in his practice some days and he really teach me so many things about chiropractic and with well another chiropractor here in mexico for example um dr jeff Sproul, you were with him in the clinic clinic yeah <laughs> yeah so he's really good he's doing right now just gunstead technique He's in all visits using the nervoscope, uh, analyzing the, 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 the subluxation, and he's really nice. So I think that they are my biggest mentors right now. You've made it to Cairo Hustle Live. Sit back and learn from the greatest influencers in the profession. This episode is brought to you by Close for Cairo, Dr. Barbara Eaton's 56 day chiropractic boot camp. Dr. Alok Trivedi, The Black Diamond Club, Element Mattresses, Legacy Wealth Management, Posture Screen, Med Zone, Vantage Point Marketing, Movo University, The Universal Tractioning System, Imaging Services, and Zingit Solutions. Let's hustle. Yeah, good guys. You know, they, they've both been really open to communicating with me and building friendship with me. And I support both of them. So you pick some really good guys to be able to, uh, to you know, get information from and to be able to model your practice off of. Because, you know, if we think that we're better than the other person, then we turn our back on potential help. Or we turn our back on potential being the next person that people say, hey, Dr. Miguel's doing great things. I want to go learn from him. Well, thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to to, give my, to do myself every day because the, the world, the, all the people really need this. Yeah, you know that. Mm -hmm. um, so so let's, let's go to some maybe some fun topics and let's talk about uh, – spending time with uh, Dr. Abraham and coming to Cairo Sushi and what that experience was like for you. 
uh, was really amazing. Well, um, we, were, <laughs> we were so many chiropractors in the same room talking about the chiropractic, the same topic, the same ideas, the same principles. Uh, is so different the energy that you felt there that when you are with some students that think that chiropractic is part of the medical profession so you are all the time talking about the the innate the adjustment to, to go to how to make bigger the practice not just for the the money or for the yeah, yeah you know for that uh, kind of things so we are trying to make better the profession to make better the this world that yeah, you know is the energy is really bigger right now and well you have to keep your um chiropractic flame yeah you know what is that yeah, yeah. All, all the time on, on fire yeah and in sport and well for me it's so much important that you um are all the time in some uh, seminars, yeah, you know, Congress, because all the time that chiropractic flame has to be on fire. Yeah, well, at least for me, it does. So, so let's talk a little bit more about Cairo Sushi. And uh, what were some of the, your favorite uh, speakers or presenters? Well, well, Dr. Edwin Cordero <laughs> and Dr. Aura. Um, well, you know, Tristan is a good guy. <laughs> he's really nice. <laughs> and he's all the time talking about chiropractic. Dr. Doctor, Doctor Tim, yeah. And, well, he he wasn't a, a speaker in this chiropractic, but after the the sponsors, I had the opportunity to, to be with him. And he's really an understander of the chiropractic because, well, 40 years in practice, come, come on with that. <laughs> yeah, it's an honor to, to be able to bring in, uh, you know, multicultural uh, groups, you know, Edwin Cordero, um, Ada to Tover, you know, to be able to bring in people from different uh, ethnic backgrounds that can speak Spanish, that can share the story, people that have been practicing for 40 years, you know, people that are, aren't chiropractors like myself that support the profession, that are sharing the big idea to the people that need to hear it. You know, we all come together with a little bit of specialty. And, you know, bringing in Abraham. Let's talk a little bit about your colleague Abraham and where he was, if you don't mind, last year at Cairo Sushi and where he is now. Yeah, well, uh, he told me that his practice was a little bit um, struggle at the beginning, well, before the first car sushi, and after the first car sushi, he's uh, right now shaking 200 patients per week. So, and the last years, uh, he told me that maybe just 60. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's somewhat different because you change to shift the the mindset, mm -hmm. and it's so different when you come back to your office. And you keep your 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 best uh, your best focus, yeah. You know, it's so much different because uh, if you are talking with another chiropractor that just aren't focused and the correct subluxation is is more is, is more clear for you, yeah. You know, and mm -hmm. and Abraham told me that. So in this time, um, for him was, um, well, the idea, well. He has more clear right now the philosophy of chiropractic, yeah? Mm -hmm. And the philosophy is the base on everything. Mm -hmm. And he had trouble with that in this chiropractic. And after that, well, right now he's talking with, uh, talking with me and he's uh, now checking with the patient that uh, are real mindset uh, about chiropractic. Yeah, it's important, you know, because so many of us, we lead ourselves and we don't trust other people to help us. So, you know, when you come to a group like Cairo Sushi, like Veronica De, De La Cruz says the shabs, you know, hands up, um, you know, praise them. Because what they've done is they've built a platform for so many of us to come together and to love each other, to learn from each other and to share our little secrets 
with each other because there's so many people out there that might change the way that they take care of their community if they just know the big idea and the big why behind why they became the chiropractor. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Well, um, excuse me for my English, but uh, sometimes I don't, uh, I don't find the correct uh, words to try to explain, okay? <laughs> but uh, I have to recognize uh, to you, Jim, yeah, you are doing really good things for the for profession. And I really uh, admire that. Well, thank you. You, know, you are the you are the first guy that did a documentary about chiropractic. Mm -hmm. So I really feel so proud of that because the chiropractic and the world needs needs that. So thank you for that. You know, I I appreciate that, and you know, I, I have a lot of emotion because uh, so many times I'm working every day. And I feel like no one's paying attention to, to the big message or people are saying bad stuff towards me because I do stuff my way. But really, we need to support each other and to, you know, put put the, the blinders on and say, you know, all I have in me is love, appreciation and support for chiropractic. And if you guys want to have me continue to be the megaphone for the profession, then yeah. the support needs to continue. Otherwise, there's times when I thought I'm going to quit doing what I do. Yeah, you know what is the trouble uh, with some chiropractors? And you said uh, this at the beginning of your film. I am not chiropractor, but I believe 100% in chiropractor. And some chiropractors, even with 10 years in practice, 20 years in practice, don't believe and don't understand chiropractic. So for that reason, I really feel so proud of you, of you and all that people do, you, you make that uh, big impact because you are doing something that, well, so many chiropractors are not. So it's really a, a big emotion that I can explain. And I told you to that when we were in the Vegas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so I appreciate the kind words, and I know that you know everybody that watches what we do as a, the Cairo Hustle brand and the filmmaking that we do and the interviews that we do. I know that a lot of people appreciate it, so I just want to say thank you to everybody, just like Miguel, that sees the work that we do, that appreciates the the tone that we carry the profession on with because chiropractic was based on tone. And what we do is we carry a tone of communication for the chiropractic profession to where people can say yes to chiropractic instead of saying, ah, maybe not. So when you're more consistent and you tell the story every day and people say yes to chiropractic more, it's not for my capital gain, it's for the professional influence. And I think that so many people think that um, anything that I do is about making money. I mean, money's fine, but when you can have consistent influence in the market, that means that more people are going to say yes to chiropractic and they're going to say yes to a healthier life for them and their family. You have two hands, okay? The service and the, and the money. Business. Yeah. <laughs> and I have, they have to be equilibrated all the time. Yeah, mm -hmm. both are necessary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, and I understand that, but I know that is not for money. Uh, for make money, there are so many things to do, maybe even drugs, yeah, <laughs> but this is not about the money, it's about the love you, you do, mm -hmm. yeah? all the love that you give. Yeah, so, so let, let's speak to our Spanish speaking and listening population a little bit and let's talk to them about your experiences at Cairo Sushi and my, maybe why they should go too. Okay, in Spanish? Ok, bueno, yo invitaría a todos los estudiantes egresados, a los que gusten acudir al Carol Suchi. La verdad es un lugar donde te sientes muy bien como quiropráctico, donde comentas con todos realmente lo que es quiropráctica, todos hablan de lo mismo, son quiroprácticos vitalistas, son, son quiroprácticos que realmente te están enfocando a que tú tengas una práctica más grande. Y como dice Jim, no es solamente por el dinero, o sea, es para impactar a más personas para que ellos tengan realmente que lo que es quiropráctica, la gente necesita quiropráctica solamente que no lo saben, creen saber que es quiropráctica porque piensan que es tomar huesos, quitar dolores de espalda, de cuello, 
pero no es eso, es reconectar con algo más grande, es para que la vida de una persona sea mejor. De lo que sí estamos seguros es que la, la gente está mejor con quiroprácticas, sin interferencias nerviosas, sin subluxaciones en la columna, en sus vidas, y eso es lo que debe de importar. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. know that you, you didn't understand anything, but you, you felt the energy, yeah? right? <laughs> Because, you know, I do so many interviews, I just pay attention to people. I watch the face. You know, I watch when people's verb, nonverbal cues are talking to me. So you could say everything in Spanish the whole time, and I would know when to follow the next question with you. Just because I pay attention to human behavior, and I pay attention to the way people communicate. And I think that that's one of the things that most people, even if you're a chiropractor and you're watching this, you say, what is the big takeaway from Jim Chester interviewing Dr. Miguel Guevara? Um, the big takeaway is pay attention to people and yeah. listen to what other people have to say. And, you know, one of the things I'll share with you is the only thing that people want to tell you is the things they want you to hear. Yeah. So you're not going to waste your words with people And you're not going to say things to people that you don't think that they need to hear. You tell people what's vital to the communication aspect for them to understand either if you're serious, either if you're joking, or either if it's a tone of anger or love. You communicate appropriately with the exact behavior that needs to be conveyed for somebody to either say yes or no. <laughs> yeah. And when you pay attention to those subtleties on the way that people interact with each other, you can begin to say, okay, so this is what I need to say for possibly my patients understanding that I'm serious. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You have to be serious. You have to be congruent with all you think, with your behavior. And mm -hmm. after that, the results are, are good. Exactly. So I know we're coming up on our edge of uh, the interview today. Is there anything that I didn't ask you that you'd like to share with the people listening? Uh, well, uh, I can say that in Spanish. Sure. Okay. Eh, agradezco bastante la oportunidad de Jim Chester por estar aquí. Este, agradezco la oportunidad para poder comunicar un poco de lo que yo he vivido. Que la quiropráctica es una profesión de buen nivel. Es una profesión de primera, solamente que no sabemos qué tenemos en las manos. En Estados Unidos, por ejemplo, pagan millones de dólares para estudiar quiropráctica y aquí como la tenemos gratis, pensamos que no es importante. Hay personas que no tienen contacto con la quiropráctica, hay gente que sí la hemos tenido desde pequeños, pero eso no importa, lo importante es que tú sepas qué quieres estudiar, para qué y para, a quiénes vas a ayudar. O sea, no se trata de, de dinero, se trata de dar un servicio correcto. Tienes que cobrar por tu servicio porque de algo tienes que vivir pero no se trata solamente por dinero. La quiropráctica es para ayudar a cambiar vidas, para ayudar a que la gente esté bien. Y eso es realmente lo que yo, yo busco todos los días con las personas. Y eso es lo que yo quiero que la quiropráctica, que, que México, que todo el mundo haga realmente quiropráctica para que, que cambiemos algo. O sea, decía VJ que teníamos que vaciar las cárceles, llenar las iglesias. Se refería a la gran idea de que una subluxación en un nervio, o sea, presionado en la información, no dejando que correctamente funcionara ese cuerpo humano, era una cosa pequeña. Ahora multiplica eso por miles y millones de personas y vas a cambiar una nación. So, I was talking about the big idea. So, yeah, you know, maybe a subluxation of the interruption of the mental impulse is something small, but you, you can put this for millions and you can make a, a big change. You can change the world. Yeah, you know something about it. So I, I was trying to explain to the students and some chiropractors that the chiropractic is not so for the, the symptoms. And it is really important for me to uh, give that, um, that message. And, uh, and I want to say thank you to you, Jim, because, um, well, I know that I'm not the best chiropractor, <laughs> but I, I want to try to give uh, this information for, to all, all the people And, and that passion. So I know that my English in this moment is <laughs> complicated to understand, but I feel really very well. And I, and I feel with my body that something is going to be changed with this. Yeah, I agree too. Um, I'm going to say some quick thank yous to people that have commented onto the, the conversation with us. We have Liam Schubel that says, uh, uh, hi, Jim, and hi, Miguel. Um, Ruben Armando Contreras Jimenez, 
He says, uh, we need to bring this kind of concept to Mexico in Spanish version. Many Mexican chiropractors are trying to find a path to a successful, to be successful professional. Cairo Sushi, Black Diamond Club, Cairo Hustle can be the key to growth of the profession. Remember what is uh, Mexico for many, many starting projects in the world. Chiropractic is a global movement and Latin America right now is ready to give a big push to this profession. So thank you, Ruben, for commenting. Um, I can't say enough about the, the, you know, the energy that you've been giving lately, Ruben. Thank you so much for being a part of the Cairo Hustle tribe. Uh, Veronica Dela Cruz, thank you for supporting what we do. It was really nice to meet you at Cairo Sushi as well. And thank you to the shops, Tristan and Tim, for putting on such a dynamic uh, weekend for everybody to come together and have fellowship, to learn about the big idea, and to share our stories. And then I want to thank uh, Myra Plata for uh, being such a Cairo Hustle, uh, you know, supporter for since you've come on to be a part of the team. Thank you so much, Myra, for helping conduct scheduling all the interviews that I do and making sure that things are all going as planned and smooth as possible. And then I want to say thank you to Kelly Stagg for being on. She says, hi, Miguel. So thank you, Kelly, for being on with us as well. And then we have Ruben. One more comment. He says, Miguel Guevara, oh, it's in Spanish, <laughs> but he says, congrats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It was better all the part in the Spanish. Yes. <laughs> and then Deanna Riggin says, uh, great event it was. And uh, thank you, Deanna, for being on the live stream with us today. Hey, I just want to say, if you guys found value in what we do here with Cairo Hustle and you think that the movement that we've started is something you'd like to support, um, just hashtag in the comments there, support. If you guys are watching uh, this uh, interview on replay and you want to either reach out to myself or uh, Dr. Miguel, push hashtag replay Miguel or hashtag replay Jim, and we'll both reach out to you personally to help you out. Replay but English. <laughs> <laughs> Replay in English. And, and then I, I just wanted to uh, send out a, a nice message to everybody out there that um, if you just want more out of life and you want to be better and you want to have more connections, uh, just get out of your own way. You can change the world. And that's what my first uh, mentor told me, Matt Walker. He said, if you just get out of your own way, Jim, you could change the world. And I was really resentful at the moment, but I've learned from looking inside myself that I did get out of my own way and I am changing the world. And then my other mentor, Miguel, told me, stop taking what everybody gives you and start taking what you want. And that builds certainty in me. So now I don't take what everybody gives me anymore. I start being very keen to knowing what exactly I want and we go for it. So is it okay if I close out, Miguel? I don't know. Just say thank you for this space and keep in touch. And okay. See you the next time, okay? Yep. And you guys are just one story away. Keep hustling. And I want to thank Element Mattress for being the sponsor of this amazing interview today with Dr. Miguel Guevara. If you guys want to get a better night's sleep, uh, reach out to Bruce Brown and he'll help you out with Element Mattress. Thank you, Miguel. Have a blessed rest of your day, okay, buddy? Bye, my pleasure. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. <laughs> see you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for listening to Cairo Hustle Live. Don't forget to subscribe and check back next week to continue hustling.